Hey, what's up everybody, all you awesome people out there, this is AWOC, and uh, on today's video I've decided to go into a little bit more of a construction side of things. Now, on my last video, for those of you guys and girls who watched it, I was talking about crafting. Well, today I'm going to be talking about a different style of crafting, and that would be crafting your little abode, or your fortress, your castle, or your little shed whatever you would like to call it so i'm going to be going into that in a little bit more detail and hopefully helping some of you out there that has been putting it off or maybe just a little bit too intimidated by it in creating their own little fortress now um, as i said with my other videos as well it is very easy and it's very simple and you know what it is actually a lot of fun um a lot of fun to a point where i haven't really done anything in the else uh, anything else in the game besides crafting and building on this cool little fort that you see over here now without further ado let's jump into it okay now as you can see here i did construct a cool little place for my friend here behind my cool looking fortress and i will show you guys how to make one of your own it is really really simple and it's really easy you just as i said you choose the block of land that you want to work with and i will choose maybe something actually you know what i'm going to build something right next to it all i'm going to do is i'm just going to take away this fence and that's the beauty of this game if you don't want to use something anymore you can just simply just break it down and it picks it up straight up again so i think my cotton is actually full no it's not full i still have some space okay so i'm going to take away this window and I'm going to cut open some wall here for myself to work with. Okay, so there we go. Now, all you need to do is you need to select the block that you want to use. Um, obviously, if you're going to have the fence, it's going to use the fence. So you head over, select your block, and off you go. Now, as you can see, there's a little white cursor in front that shows exactly where I'm going to be placing the block so up it goes over there and now it tends to automatically follow sometimes where you're going to go if not you just simply point it in the right direction okay and done I'm going to leave this little area open over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to build a platform now you'll need to do this if you're going to if, well, if you want a roof on top of your buildings, otherwise it is a little bit hard as you can see to build a roof from the bottom up. So you're going to have to build a little step ladder, jump up and start placing the foundations for your roof. Now, sometimes you'll see that it might place something on top by accident if you didn't have the cursor in the right place, but that's easily fixed. Let me just quickly jump down and grab that. All you need to do is just take it down again and boom off you go very simple straightforward and easy to do so i'm going to pop this over here now you see as you get a little bit closer you might have to take a step back just to make it a little bit easier for you to place what you need to place down so i'm going to just okay i seem to have run out of grass but that's okay i'll use wood to finish off my example over here oh actually, i actually don't think that's grass that's that's a hay barrel or a hay a hay square maybe in the game because everything is squared so there we go i mean simple and easy it, it's it's so quick and it's so easy to build these little houses i mean you don't have to construct a huge fortress like i've done over here um you can easily just put together something so quick easy and simple like i've done over here now as i've showed you guys and boom and you're done it's it's so easy and, it, and it's so much fun making these things i that's why i said i haven't really progressed much in the game because i have been stuck building things it is just it's just super awesome fun for me to build these i mean look at that uh, let me just get rid of this one and i'm gonna pop this one over here here we go um, now also I forgot to place a window here now if you did that as well you can easily just go back 
and all you need to do is carve a hole in some space for you. Um, so I'm going to have to make a square size because the window is the shape of a square. So as you can see, it is not here on menu. Easy. I just hop on over to my inventory, grab the window, and I pop it into my quick um, quick use inventory. Select it and keep the cursor on the empty hole and boom there you go now I've got the two little cool windows in here and I've got my friend here hopefully as I said uh, he won't be harassed by the uh, the guys that tend to roam around here so there you go guys and girls it is it's really really easy to uh, to construct these things now I'm gonna jump onto the next point of my tutorial Okay, everybody, so here we are in Fort Finch, as you can see. Now, this is my favorite part of the map so far, <laughs> out of the four worlds that I've explored. Now, um, yep, that would be four worlds. Now, as you can see, the reason why I like this one is there's a lot of greenery, there's some awesome looking trees, it's not too big, it's kind of flat, so we have a lot of surface to work with, and of course, there's some water, and not to mention some NPCs hanging about down there, and... Uh, not necessarily the most friendly neighbors, um, but you know what, <laughs> they will do for now. Now, the question, the first question that might pop into your head would be, now, why would I want to build a place? Like, why would I want to waste time and spend time on building a fortress when I can just go out there and kill stuff? Well, yes, you can, and go ahead and do that. That is awesome and, and a lot of fun to do as well. But I'm talking about the guys and girls out there who really enjoy building things like myself. And even for, for those of you guys who, you know, like running into the game head first and, you know, just killing and crafting items as you go, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. And you have this sense of accomplishment. Like, you look back at it and you go, wow, did I, did I really build that? Did I really construct that awesome looking fort right there? <laughs> well... Awesome looking forward in progress, more like it. Now, it does look quite like it does look like a lot of work, but it honestly isn't. It is really, really easy to create a fort. And even, you know, even just if you want to create like a little small little hut that you want to live in, that is also cool. And it, you know what? It is a lot of fun to create those things. Now, the next question in your mind would be like, okay, well, hey, well, I would like to go and create and build my own little place, but where do I get materials from? Well, that is also another easy question that I can answer for you. As you can see over here, there's a lot of ruins. There's a lot of old broken down buildings and skeletons and worms and venom maggots. Okay, I'll just back off from that one. And as you can see here, there's a lot of old ruins. There's a lot of old buildings. And what you can do is... Oh, there's my friendly neighbor. Now, just as an example, you can, you can come over here and you can, you know, just grab one of these blocks and off you go. And, uh, well, obviously you're going to need a lot more than that, but... You, you can borrow. You don't necessarily need to wait to craft these various items. You can just go to different worlds and um, just grab from there. Now, I recommend that you go to the very first world that you start off in. And I will take you there and I will show you what I mean. So, of course, you go into your inventory menu, your world map. As you can see, I've only got four places. But that's because I've been building and I've been really enjoying it. So, you head back to the first place, which is Squires Knoll, and you travel there. And kaboom, here we are in Squirrel, Squire, Squirrel, Squire, <laughs> Snow. Now, as you can see here, I've pretty much flattened what was left, or what was to begin with for me to start off with here in this level. Now, that is the thing. Uh, there was a tower over there, and all you need to do is pick up your handy little stone pickaxe that you start the game off with, and you just start mining. I mean, even with these blocks over here... Uh, you can you can harvest them and you can you know build something out of it and I mean you'll need them for decoration and you know what if you really want to get f into it you can use different elements on your on your buildings that you use you know to create a more cr to have a more of a creative look and feel to them and also I would recommend if you come over here oh okay I'm dropping down all the way now if you come over here to the dungeon in the first level you will see a huge okay let me just get rid of this guy before he destroys me. 
Okie dokie, he's gone. Now, as you can see over here, you've got so much material to work with. I mean, look, you've got roof materials, you've got some wooden blocks, you've got some uh, more stone uh, blocks over here. I mean, you have a wealth of stuff that you can use. You don't necessarily have to wait until you have enough, you know, resources to, cr uh, to kind of melt these and craft these items. You can literally just come here and grab what you need. Now, the best advice I can give you with these is you need to work your way from the top and down because if you're going to start mining for example over here you're going to be stuck with everything that's been mined at the bottom and then you're going to have to you know you're not going to you're not going to have a way to get up there so definitely uh, what I would do is uh, I usually grab you know I don't have enough on me right now but I grab a couple of dirt blocks and um, I would stack them randomly and that way it gives me the axes that I need to get higher up in order to craft from the top. So that way you don't necessarily have to worry about missing out on anything that you uh, dismantle. Now the, the thing is there is a countdown timer on these things when you start dismantling them. So if you don't have inventory space you need to be really quick and know what you want to get rid of. In your inventory space you can make space for these things. Now I mean you can take everything here. You can you can even take the wall flame. Oh, okay, I should not have done that. Now I'm left in darkness. However, you can't take these vases because they will break. Um, but there's little there's little things in them for you. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But definitely grab these um, these torches because when it's dark out, you will need them to, uh, to light up. Especially if you're farming for materials and especially if you are putting things together and you're working on a big project. You're going to need these in order to light it up for you. Otherwise, you're going to be struggling to see what you are doing. And also the same with these staircases. Now, as you can see, the staircases goes up quite a while. Now, I would recommend, as you, if you're going to farm for these staircase blocks, you will need to, of course... Okay, I'll start from the bottom for these ones. But you do need to start from the bottom and work your way up. Because otherwise, if you could work your way from the top, you're going to be stuck down the bottom. And you're going to find it extremely hard to get out of here eventually. Now I'm going to take you somewhere else and I can show you some more. Now one of the awesome things that I really enjoy about Portal Knights is the transition between day and night throughout the game. Now that is why I said you need to make sure you carry these torches around with you because it does get dark and especially when you're working and you're farming for materials it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to see what you need to do. So you just pick a little place and uh, lights up the area a little bit which kind of makes things a little bit easier for you to uh, farm for some uh, different types of materials. Hello, Mr. Parrot. Yep, there we are. Now, as you can see, I've farmed the whole area here um, and I've taken out all the wooden blocks because, I mean, if you're not going to use it, why leave it there? Just pick it up and take it with you. Now, yes, I know you're probably thinking, but it takes a lot of time. I don't want to waste time doing this. Yes, I know it does take a little bit of time, but for those of you dedicated and really, you know, enjoy building things in games like this, it's the, the, the part of the enjoyment is farming for these materials and using your imagination and creativity in building these awesome looking buildings and fortresses. I mean, you are honestly limited to your own creativity. Now, if you look over here, I've cre created a little dirt, little dirt pathway for myself to get down here. Uh, back in the day when I was going to make this my hometown, but then I thought, you know what? I'm going to set out, I'm going to explore and see what else is out there. And I fell in love with Fort Finch straight away as soon as I set foot in there. Now, um, I'm going to jump to the next part and I will show you what else you can do. Kaboom! And here we are back in Fort Finch at my cool little looking fortress. I mean, look at that. Just look at that. It's not finished, but look at it. It's super awesome. Okay, so we're going to run in here right now. And um, back at my little chest, for those of you guys who saw my other videos, I'm really focusing and emphasizing how important these chests are. Now, I'll show you, I'll give you a good example. Now, look in here. I mean, this is completely jam-packed full of stuff that I probably not even need right now. So, that's why I'm saying you need these chests to come. I mean, I'm not going to use these bones, so I'm going to pop them over here. I'm going to take this old wizard hat. I don't really need that, actually. I'm just going to put that in the bin. Um, let's see, I'm going to take this over here, the straw barrel, and I'm going to pop you over here. I'm not going to fight anybody right now, so I can... No, I'm going to need you. Uh, okay, I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to hang up that lantern. What can I put in here? Uh, I'll pop you in here as well. And I'll put my cool little robot outfit in here as well. So, there we go. So then I'm going to open up my chest and use it. And then I'm going to pop this in here. 
there we go. Now, if I go to my inventory, I got some space to put things. I mean, I can take uh, inventory out. I can also take some potion out. Now, there is a limit of 200 pieces that you can carry for the blocks, if you look over here. So, um, once you harvest the 200, or farmed, whichever way you want to put it, once you've got 200 of them, that is the limit. So, then it's going to start another block of 200 until you are full. And as you can see here, for example, I've got 200 over here, and right now I've got 54. That's starting to stack up again, and that will go to 200 as well, and then it's going to take up a new space. Now, I need to make a little bit more space here because... I'm going to show you guys some cool little tricks now. I'm going to hang this little lantern up somewhere. I'm going to pop you over here. There we go. That's pretty awesome. I need to get some more of those. Okay, now. Ooh, okay. I got some company that wants to ooh, play with me. Let me just get rid of him. Now, this is another good reason why you need a fortress. I mean, uh, you would peacefully want to make a video to show people what to do, and this random guy can just, you know, spin on in. Okay, I've got, I've got some neighbors I need to uh, get rid of real quickly. Okay, apologies about those interruptions. Now, the next question would be, well, how how do I how do I start? Like, how do I how do I begin to um, to build something? I, how, what do I do? Like, how do I choose where to go? Now, as I said before in the beginning of the video, you just choose any way you want to build. I mean, there is no rules. There's no restrictions of where and what you can do. You can make it as big as you like. You can make it as small and as, you know, convenience. It's, it's all your choice at the end of the day. Now, I've chosen here, as I said, because there's a lot of flat space to work with, and I have this really awesome, super cool idea of what I want to build over here, and I really can't wait for it to be finished, so I can show you guys and girls out there and what I have made. Now, this is kind of just a little temporary hangar for me. I mean, you know when you go past construction sites, you always see there's that little kind of HQ they have that you know, has all the, all the, all the bits and pieces in there, like the paperwork and all the forms and stuff. Well, this is kind of what this is, and you know what? This might be a permanent part of fixture of my, uh, of my fortress. I mean, it can be a cool little cellar, and as you can see here, I mean, the portal is right here, and it's so cool. I mean, I can just jump on in, and here I am at my, um, and my front door. Now, um, oh, I need to fix that up, but I can do that in, at a later point in time. Now, for example. You can use tunnels. I mean, how cool is that? You can you can build something against the cliff, which is what I've done here, and I'm going to utilize the space underneath. You don't necessarily need to build something above ground. I mean, if you want, you can build a fortress that goes underground. I mean, how cool is that? That is just, uh, that is super awesome. Uh, you, you can see something from up the top, and it doesn't look that big, but as soon as you go in the front door, you have this massive tunnel going underground with you know, cool little lairs and, you know, dungeons inside. There might be a skeleton. I don't know. Hopefully not. But, you know, anything's possible in this game, which makes it really awesome. Now, if you can see over here as well, there is a, uh, you know, piece I can farm for materials from. But I don't necessarily want to do that because look how cool that looks. I mean, why would I want to farm this? It it looks super awesome. So there's, oh, there's always bits and pieces out there that you'll find that you don't necessarily want to touch. For example, like this one. Simple as that, you just leave it alone and you go to another another portal, you go through a portal to another dimension or village or island, whichever you want to call it, and you can just simply farm for materials from there. Now, you might think, is that it? Is, the, is that all I need to do? Yes, it is. It's literally all you need to do. It is not that difficult. You just go about, I mean, if you come here um, in the beginning of the game, you would see there was a little house over here with um, the staircase going down. The poor merchant down there. I took his whole top part of his apartment. But you know what, dude? I will make it up for you. There will be a connecting tunnel from this cool little place here going to your little shop down there. So do not worry about that. And um, you literally just need to go borrow bits. Well, you're not borrowing. You're literally taking these bits and pieces. But then again, it is abandoned. So you have the right to do that. And you just start. You just put some stuff down. If it helps, draw on a piece of paper what you want to build. I mean, if you're sitting in school or on the bus or wherever, okay, well, you probably can't sit in school and draw. But I mean, if you get a chance, take out a piece of paper, grab a pen or a paper and a pencil maybe so you can uh, rub out if you make some mistakes and just draw, you know, draw a fortress, draw something for you to work off. And then, 
you know, you start on that blueprint, and if you want, you make changes as you go. So that is the best part of the game. You can, you can change and and you know, make as many changes as you want in the game. You're not you're not restricted. And as you can see from here, what I meant with the putting the light down. Um, as I was building on the roof, when it gets nighttime, it gets relatively dark, so you will have a bit of a struggle to whoop, uh, to necessarily see. Okay, I've got some company right now. I'm just going to try and run away from him. Now, you're going to have a bit of a struggle trying to see what you are doing, and I will show you what I mean. So, as I'm constructing the roof over here, um, there we go. That's gone. Okay, well, it is the full moon tonight, maybe, so you can see a little bit better, or I think the sun uh, is coming up shortly. But it is relatively dark, so it is a bit of a struggle to, f to build. So, it's always handy to, you know, pop one of these around and carry enough of these so whenever you're farming or constructing, you will have the possibility to see what you are doing. Okay, now I've got somebody who wants to play. Um, now I'm going to try and run away from him. Okay, no, he definitely wants to play. So I'm going to just roll down into my little place. Hopefully he's not going to follow me. I do need to build a door. Okay, no, he's on the roof. He doesn't want to jump down. Now, as before, what I was talking about in my... Um, when you want to craft items, part of constructing building is you need to craft items. So, for example, doors. I've got a doorway here. You can make little smaller doors and windows. And there's so many different types of windows that you can build. I mean, you don't necessarily need windows uh, in your in your fortresses that you build. Okay, <laughs> he, st he still wants to dance. Okay, I'm just going to keep running. Um, you don't necessarily need to build these things, but you know what? They look nice, and it's um, it, it's just part of the aesthetic of of the building. So, I mean. As I said, you're limited to your own imagination, your own creativity, and I'm really excited to share this fortress, to this fortress and design with you guys because what it looks like now is not gonna what it is not what it's going to look like when it's done. I mean, if any of you guys have some really awesome buildings out there, hit me up, send me an email, and I will feature it and I will show it in my next video. I mean, I'm sh definitely sure there's some fortresses out there who look 1,000 times cooler than mine right now. But, um, hey, you learn from that and you get ideas from that as well. So, anyway, guys, this is basically my really short introduction to building fortresses. And, you know what, you're not restricted to what you want to build. And, I mean, if you want to jump into the game and start slaying things straight away, go for it. But, if you're like me and you really enjoy building things and creating the world around you and making it a little bit more personal jump into it and start building and as i said go to the different worlds farm for some materials and make sure you have enough storage uh, space in your backpack as well as your ready to use um, menu down below so you don't miss out on farming any materials because you need to make you need to keep an eye on that because you might be chopping away at some uh, some building and you're not picking up any blocks because your inventory is full now I'd be pretty angry if that was me, so definitely make sure that you have some space in your inventory so you will come back with enough materials to start building that dream home. Guys, this has been a real pleasure as always. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like, not lick a like, click that like button. If you really enjoy these videos and you want to see more, subscribe and I will try my best to entertain you with some more Portal Night gameplay and any hints and tips and tricks that I might have along the way. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you later.